Pacific Central Command is gone. If there's anything left of our fleet, they're out there blind as bats. I don't think we've seen the worst yet. We need everyone alive and combat ready. I don't trust her. She's hiding something. What is your problem? You don't like having a woman in your squad? I don't have a problem with women. I got a problem with liars! Well, Jason, it's your favorite time of the gaming year. Yay! It's Battlefield 4! Yes, welcome ready to Rage Select. We're talking about Battlefield 4 today, uh, which is the one that comes after, which shouldn't actually be called Battlefield 4, should it? It should be called like Battlefield 25 or whatever. Something like that. Well, yeah, because they had, or something by now. Battlefield Vietnam and 2142. There wasn't actually even a Battlefield 1, was there? It was Battlefield 1942. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but this is the latest installment in the DICE uh, EA's kind of, you know, they've been getting, those guys have been getting a lot bitchier recently about Activision and Call of Duty. Like they've have been, they? Uh, well, there was like a trailer they put out that was making fun of dogs or something. And oh. <laughs> they keep having, um, they keep having like press conferences and stuff where it's kind of like watching uh, professional athletes like dick with each other where they're just like, well, if you guys want to play a real game where people don't call you a gay noob, Battlefield yeah. 4. Well, it's like Coke and Pepsi. I mean, these are the two, you know, big titans. But this, well, okay, maybe this isn't quite as big as Pepsi. There's, there's, <laughs> there's a big difference between, uh, yeah, there's a big difference in success between this and Call of Duty, but I prefer this one greatly. Okay. Well, should we start talking about the single player or multiplayer? I didn't play the single player, so All right. uh, dive in, man. Single player of Battlefield 4. I played it a little. I, I, so. <laughs> um, okay, how should I put this in a way that will make everybody happy? Did you, why are you doing that? It's uh, it's feces, feces. Uh, yes, it is feces. Uh, that should make everybody happy. No, <laughs> it, it's okay. Let's just say that, with the exception of okay, how many single player campaigns have there been in the Call of Duty universe? Bad Company, Bad Company Two, Battlefield Three, Battlefield Four, right? Oh, you mean in the Battlefield universe? You ba- said Call of Duty. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I they're. They're starting to run together for I me, know, man. I'm starting to. Well, I can't. I I can't keep them straight. I don't know. Uh, well, there's dogs in Call of Duty. Oh, uh, dogs. Uh, so, but yeah, Battlefield One, Battlefield Two, great stories. Love the stories for Battlefield One and Battlefield Two. I don't even remember them. They got the the company of misfits. The bad oh, company. Bad there. company. Yes. One and two. Okay. What was I saying? You were saying Battlefield. So you got closer. You weren't saying Call of Duty. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very tired. We're reviewing so much. Um. So, yes, Bad Company 1 and 2. Those were great. Yeah. Good stories. Those were cool. Really liked it. Yeah. Battlefield 3, a uh, shit pile yeah. of a story. Uh, uh, <sighs> kind of a shit pile of a story. I don't know. It was fine. You know, whatever. What, uh, what little I played, so I can't really give it a full assessment. So. Right. It, I mean, it was okay. It, it, there's nothing to write home about. It kind of was just, you play it and you go... You guys really should just spend all this time and money just dumping back into the multiplayer. You shouldn't right. have even bothered with this. Um, Battlefield Four. It seems like they've made another. They've taken another stab at it, um, but somehow, amazingly enough, they it's worse than Battlefield Three's single player campaign. So you are a wrecker. You know, talking about uh, stupid names. The guy of, who has a name and pretty much no other attributes. Uh, Yes, and you are uh, the leader of a group of, of dudes which consist of you and Omar from The Wire, yes. a.k.a. Irish, uh, and this guy called Pac, because you know nobody in this universe has a name. That they're not like, you know... Don. Or, or even a last name, like, Polanski, get over here, <laughs> yeah. you know? It's always like, I am Wrecker, I am Irish, I'm Pac, you yeah. know? Um, I'm Striker Eureka. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Gypsy Dangerous is right around the corner there. But um, th- so you're sent off. Okay. Let's just let's be, be clear about this. The Chinese are the bad guys and they're fucking a bunch of shit up. Sure. And you got to go fuck yeah. it back up in return. Yeah. You're on this boat. You find some intel. Some horrible shit goes down. You're put in charge of your squad, except not really. Even though not really. Because the your character. name only commander. Yeah, your character has no voice. Your character has no face. Your character never says, go to the objective and we'll meet at fucking yeah. point alpha. It's always... Another character. Yeah. Do this. Right. It's always Irish going, I think we should go over here and fucking take that objective. Right, Wrecker? And like, then they're like, there's a small pause where I guess I was supposed to say like, okay, to my computer. And then he's like, <laughs> all right, let's go. Um, 
But the story for this game feels incredibly disjointed. Like, characters do stuff that makes no earthly amount of sense. Um, there's transitions from, you know, you thought people in The Dark Knight Rises had a problem with Bruce Wayne crawling out of the pit and then being back in yes. America. These guys might as well have been calling the United States, the, the USS Enterprise, to fucking <laughs> beam them to Nicaragua or wherever they're going next. That would have been rad. Um, it's a globe trotting thing where you know there's a level where you get to uh, you get to sh- drive a tank around, blow up a bunch of stuff. For the most part, it's a lot of infantry shooting, doing stuff. Um, but it, it's really weird. They introduce characters and then kill them off shortly thereafter. Two characters in the game, they fucking hate each other. I could care less. I'm like, you both are soldiers. Could you stop acting like we're in fourth fucking grade because the Chinese <laughs> are taking over the world? Uh, all right. I have a problem with you. Oh, yeah? Well, I have a problem with you, too. Like, why don't both of you fucking shut the fuck up <laughs> and let's shoot some Chinese dudes or whatever? Um, at the very That end brings of, people together. It's shooting, shooting Chinese dudes. Uh, it's better than the fucking South Americans. I'm, <laughs> it so is. It is indeed. Uh, that makes a little more sense. Um, in the dramatic conclusion of the game, they give you at the very, very end of the game kind of a Mass Effect-style choice, which affects, you know, all 90 seconds. I'm talking about, like... At the the eleventh hour, fifty ninth minute, and fifty ninth yeah. second, they give you a choice. What color will the credits be? It, Red, no yeah. white. And quite frankly, it's one of those things where they where they come down to one of these choices of like, do you choose this person or do you choose this person? And I'm just like, I don't care. <laughs> you guys pick. <laughs> Fuck, I don't, I don't care. I don't even know these guys. Right, like these guys are. It's so like now I get to make a decision. Yeah. Um, so in the single player, I guess like some of the destructible environment stuff kind of comes out a, a little bit, but not near as much as it did in like Battlefield Bad Company. Like Battlefield Bad Company had more of like a I'm playing single player Battlefield against bots, and like they almost set up a playground of shit for you to knock down. Yeah, you only got a tank a few times in here, and um, yeah, I mean there's a new system which I don't think is actually, or I, I can't even remember if this is new or not. But one of the big things that I remember from the game was that. Um, you hold down the Q button, and it brings up these binoculars, and you can tag yeah, guys. Yeah. And then you would have various points in it's the really game, helpful. yeah, where you could tell you, you could tell your squad, like suppress that guy over there, and I'm going to flank around him and try to get to him. Uh, at E3, I saw a demo where they showed like you could do these levels in a variety of different ways by flanking this way or flanking that way. Be honest with you, by the end of the game, I was rolling with almost exclusively sniper rifle because I could tag the guys and then shoot them a billion miles away, and it was just like, all right. Um, I played this on the PC, and I did run into a couple of... One in particular towards the end of the game where there was a bug where I couldn't continue the level. I had to start a level over again because uh, they've got a problem where if you try to continue, it just goes to a a black screen and the game crashes. As is becoming more and more common with major releases. Uh, Yeah. um, Not fixed at the time of recording this, but I did manage to get through. So I guess the thing is that um, like a lot of military themed video games, like let's take let's take a step back here and talk about remember uh the last Medal of Honor game? Yep. Okay. Pretend you'd never played a first person like action military sure. game before. Yes. That Medal of Honor game probably but it would have been really fun. You know, because yeah. you never, you didn't play Call of Duty, and you didn't play uh, Battlefield, you didn't play, you know, you're just like, hey, wow, this is cool. Military guys doing cool shit around the world. This is very much like that. But if you have played a bunch of military games, this is not doing anything different than before. The squad tactics are reduced to one button, which is Go get attack. Em. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no pre-planning. There's no, like, capture this objective, kind of trying to ape the conquest style or whatever. Um, the characters are largely forgettable. The writing is largely forgettable. There's a few points like in that first mission where you call in an airstrike for the first time that's like, oh, whoa, that's really yeah, pretty. Yeah, that's slick. Um, but a lot of it is mostly just looking at really pretty graphics on the game engine more mm-hmm. than it is actual compelling story right. of any sort. So single player, the only good... And it's very short. Four hours, maybe. Maybe yeah. five, depending on how many times you have to continue. Um, not a Not a big biggie. Uh, mostly just kind of a showcase for the engine and stuff like that. I will say, you know, they had the, the guy that I can't remember his name that played Omar on the wire. Yeah, looked just fucking like him. But then, you know what? At a certain point in the game, I felt like um, there was some p- uncanny valley problems. Oh where yeah, you had uh, these guys that looked very realistic, but they still got those dead mm-hmm. fucking eyes. Yep, and that they're these people are used to emoting, not over emoting. Yeah, like we see with like 
Nathan Drake, Nolan North, or things like that, where people are really kind of rubber face and contorting. Like they have very subtle facial cues um, that then kind of mutes a little bit of the overall emotion that you're getting from them. So uh, it's a good engine. They didn't make you do any of that dumb car hiding shit. Remember that in Battlefield 3? <laughs> yeah. You didn't fucking hide it's your like, car. What game am I playing? Yeah. Uh, they have one driving bit at the very beginning, and they have a couple of other. Which uh, was fun. Yeah, it was fine. Uh, I mean, it was 20 seconds. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. That game is. The single player is meh. And if this game was only single player, I'd give it like a two because it's just like meh. But it's not. It is not. Now it's your turn to talk forever. Oh, you no, know, I'm going to actually need your help on some of this because I can't remember a lot of it. But All right. It's uh, I played a lot of the multiplayer, mm-hmm. uh, mostly Conquest. Yep. Uh, and uh, it's uh, oh, I love it. It's like, OK, you got these 20 minute matches and it's all right. One more. Yeah, I just uh, one, one, one more. So you say one more. But how long has Battlefield been a franchise? Oh it's man, like, like what, ten, ten, 10 years, years or something, something like, like that? that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you're not tired of Conquest yet? No, <laughs> I cannot get enough of Conquest. Uh, love playing it. You know, capping the flag where you got to be at the flag at like 20 seconds and take down the enemy's flag and raise your own. There's anywhere from like three to what six mm-hmm. capture points on Conquest where you're running around. And uh, but the big thing, the big difference between this and Call of Duty multiplayer. Is uh, the vehicles. Yep. And, uh, you know, there are tanks and jeeps and ATVs and jets and helicopters. And uh, some of them control very, very differently. And they're very different types of tanks, mm-hmm. uh, different types of helicopters. Such as? Yeah, uh, yeah well, there's there's like the, the LAV-25 or whatever, which is like a one-man tank where it's got like, uh, like I don't know, 60 caliber uh uh, automatic like flat cannons on it. Yeah, yeah, uh, anti-air. anti-aircraft stuff. Okay. Yeah, and then you got your um, your MBT tanks. You know where mm-hmm. it's uh, where you can have two people in it, and one person on the machine gun, and then the other one driving right. with the actual cannon. Amphibious uh, AT or uh, yeah. APCs. Yep, say, uh, there's some APCs which. Sometimes I would spawn in those, and I'm like, "What? <laughs> Great! I got the fucking van." <laughs> it's like I need I need to be in something that can hurt people. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's 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 always great, you know. There's it, this. I feel like this gives you lets you uh, be much more tactical because the maps are very large mm-hmm. uh, on the computer and on the next gen systems. They accommodate 32 on 32. Yeah, uh, I unfortunately played it on the Xbox. Uh, where it was 16 on 16, but I don't think the map size has changed. Uh-huh. Uh, so you can have a lot of quiet time, Let me you ask know, you, some, some foot time, thinking about you know, <laughs> your, yourself, yourself. and Running, jogging, Forrest Gump style. Jogging, the the yeah, together. exactly. Um, well, as somebody who played Battlefield 3, did this look any better on the Xbox? I couldn't really tell. Uh-huh. Well, I'm sure it did a little, but I don't... We're, I, didn't we're see it, that. I didn't see it and just go... <gasps> right. Look, it's another ruined cityscape or yeah. a countryside, and I'm in yeah. a green tank with gray you exactly. know, fatigues on. But yeah, there's, I mean, just as, as always with Battlefield, there's a lot of different tactics that you can take. It's not run around, kill, 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 kill. Right. You know, you can, okay, I'm, I'm going to sit back here on this ridge out in the middle of nowhere and wait for those fucking choppers to fly by, and I'm going to take them out with my anti aircraft cannon mm-hmm. that I just unlocked in the engineer class. You know, okay. my. With my uh, with my uh, surface to air, you know, my saw or whatever, right? Uh, or I'm I'm gonna go on foot and just do the infantry thing, or I'm gonna be you know a sniper, or you know what? I'm a really good pilot. Uh, I'm gonna get in the helicopter and I'm gonna load it up with other guys, and we're gonna cap stuff really quickly. And you know, it's I'm sorry, wait, so many you, different tactics. Did you actually say that last part to yourself? <laughs> I, I, I've seen you fly a helicopter. I, I, I you know I got confused. Uh-huh. It was the, it was the computer controls. Uh-huh. I, I'm awesome chopper pilot on the Xbox. For reals? No. Okay. No. <laughs> what you saw happen yeah. on the PC, same thing. Okay. It's, it's just like, I go up in the air, and then it's like, oh, uh, we're, we're tilting, we're tilting to the left, we're tilting, tilt, get out, get out. <laughs> yeah, I um, as, a, as a player of Battlefield, from time to time I'll get into a helicopter, and when I was playing online... I couldn't figure out. That it's like I need Battlefield to start telling me what I'm doing wrong in helicopters. <laughs> yeah, because I get a helicopter and take off, and it's like I'm literally just going up, and then suddenly I just start listing, listing to, to one side. side. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, what did I do? Yeah. I just hit the up button. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and uh, there there are many different maps, and there are lots of different uh, uh, objectives on the maps. Um, 
uh, little things that you can destroy. Mm -hmm. uh, they they made the, the destructible, of course, and marketing uh, made their destructible environment seem like a lot more than it was. And well, you can destroy a lot of shit. In this. And that's okay. That should and be it, noted. That, that is the one of the new things for Battlefield Four. Yeah. Is that that was largely uh, I think in Battlefield Three, most of the stuff you could destroy was like very scripted. It's kind of cosmetic. Yeah, not a big you know. thing. But here you can just you know, there's a guy hiding in that building. I'm going to yeah. just tear the side off that exactly. building. Exactly. Yeah, it's like oh, they're behind cover. Guess what? They don't have any cover anymore. Right. You know? uh, depending on what weapon you have and stuff like that. Um, but then there are also like centerpiece destructive environments within the game, like it's the level levolution. Yeah, like blowing up the dam mm -hmm. or uh, blowing up uh, the skyscraper, which was they made a big deal out of in a lot of the uh, marketing promotions and stuff. Uh, destroying the hotel and, and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I was never party to any of those. I, I didn't exactly know how to do it. I was too busy capping flags like a motherfucker. Okay. Uh, Doing some work, putting in the work. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I almost, I, I didn't do it, but I almost broke into thrift shop changing up the lyrics just now <laughs> to I'm going to cap some flags. I'm glad I didn't do it. Oh, I man. regret mentioning it right now. Okay. Uh, but I would, you know, we would be like in Shanghai. Oh, there's a skyscraper. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow it up. I'm going to be there when it blows up and jump off of it. Right. And then I would like be running around. I'm like, what? I've never been to the... Oh man, the skyscraper was here a second ago, <laughs> and I'm in the rubble. And, and, and so there's stuff like that on all of the maps, and there are a bunch of different gameplay modes, mm -hmm. um, which uh, you've got the list of them right there. There's, I... I mean, of course, there's team deathmatch, conquest, free deathmatch, conquest, which is my favorite. Diffuse, you got some maps, domination, obliteration, rush, squad deathmatch, and team deathmatch. Yeah, uh, and then I guess the other thing on the list here that I was noticing is uh, brand new, or at least back after a while in this one, is the new commander mode, right? Yes. Where if you feel like getting yelled at by your entire team... No, nobody... That's... Uh, when I'm playing, uh -huh. nobody listens to the commander. Uh -huh. Half the time, I don't even know that he's, that he's there. Right. Uh, why would why would you do that? I think <laughs> that... I, I feel like first-person shooters, for the longest time, have been trying to figure out how to make this work. Yes. And that you can give somebody triple XP if they do what the commander says, and they'll still be <laughs> yeah. like... Fuck that yeah. guy, man! See, I, I was doing it. And I I, uh, I was actually trying to help because I was I was often a squad leader, mm -hmm. and I would try. I, I actually genuinely wanted to follow what the commander was doing, but mm. uh, there's so much going on on the screen. Yeah, sometimes I would be like, oh oh, I'm supposed to. Commander has left. Oh, well, all right, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but uh, you can do that uh, on the uh, other level with squad members. Right. Uh, if if you're the squad leader, you can say, you know, attack this position, attack this position, and you get you. You mentioned something in the single player where you use the binoculars to uh, to spot people and highlight them. Uh -huh. You can actually do that on the multiplayer uh, by just kind of tagging people. You don't have the oh, binoculars, yeah. but you tag them, and it makes them visible on the map. Mm -hmm. And it's actually really helpful, and a lot of people don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, you forget to. You're yeah. like, you've been trained for years. Shoot, shoot him. Yeah. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. But, of course, in the multiplayer, you've got all sorts of unlocks. You level up, uh, and you get rewards for everything mm -hmm. uh for you know hey you, you played a lot as the assault class right. so you get uh you got an assault ribbon on this and you got a conquest ribbon and then you got a con uh, a flag capturing ribbon and, and they scratch just, your ass ribbon yeah just... they give you so many rewards where you level really quickly mm -hmm. and uh and, you and can unlike... go back and forth between the four classes and customize your kit and so like with each one, it's like, oh, I leveled up with my knife. I get a better knife now, you know, right. and, or but, I leveled up engineer, and so now I get another uh, different rocket launcher. And but it's it's based uh, it's based though specifically on like what you're using, right? Yes, it's not like Call of Duty where you buy a new thing. It's like right. you got fifty kills with the assault Ex rifle, so exactly. now you get a new thing. So get, now you get a better assault rifle, right? But let's, uh, you know, what I really want to talk about though is um, something new that I didn't even realize for the longest time. Maybe it's a testament to the way that the game. Uh, that how how it's not being shoved in your face, but uh, battle packs, yeah, battle packs. Jason, tell me what a battle pack is. <sighs> I hardly <laughs> use them. I, every now and then, you get this battle pack of just random shit. Mm -hmm. and but you can buy them though, right? You can, like buy them for real <laughs> like money real in money. the store, which I sure as hell didn't do. Yeah. I would pick them up, and it's like, hey, you open this up, and it gives you all this random stuff, yeah. and it, it's like it's like buying a package of magic cards or something. It's like <laughs> I hope I get a rare, yeah. Um, and you know, you would get uh, a bronze one or a gold one. There were different levels of them, and they would have naturally better stuff in them. Yeah, 
and uh, instant unlocks, right? Yeah, for, for exactly. certain things. Exactly. Yeah. So that that put a little bit more of randomness into it than the planned ladder. But I found myself ignoring those largely because mm-hmm. for some reason I don't know. I, I felt like I could control they were the other stuff to you as a consumer. <laughs> yeah. Well, you didn't also want to that pay to win bullshit. Yeah. I mean, you could just get rewarded stuff, you know, randomly, which was that. Yeah, that's fine. But mm-hmm. I didn't. You can't bank on that stuff, but uh, I sure as shit didn't buy anything. Okay. Well, um, it sounds like um, let me ask you. Th- let me ask you this: Is I didn't play enough Battlefield Three multiplayer to really be able to talk about this, but how do- does it feel different than the multiplayer in Battlefield Three? No. No, no. I mean, the destruction stuff that doesn't seem to factor in. I mean, maybe a little I, bit, a little. Or... You know, it's there are going to be little tweaks here and there, but there was nothing major. It, mm-hmm. it was, it was more of the same, which is what I felt it should have been. You know, again, it's they've got a good formula. You know, tweak it, make some improvements. If those don't work, roll them back and go a different direction. But okay. uh, it's, uh, yeah, I, I think they got a, a, a good equilibrium there. So just keep. Now, see, adding to it, you know. I, I've I've also uh, I've also was reading a few things where they said that they've uh, they actually put some time into making the uh, the interface for multiplayer a little bit more streamlined and a little bit better. I know that on the PC, the entire thing runs through a web page, which is extremely jarring at first. But yeah. You get launch the game and it brings up this web page where you can kit your guy out and you can spectate, you can browse and stuff. But on the console, oh, it, was, I mean, it was slick. Yeah. yeah it was. Uh, there was really nothing to it. It mm-hmm. was you had your between match stuff where you could go in game, of course, not some website. Yeah, and uh, check out your progression, your unlocks, and stuff like that. Um, and but like during the game, it was really easy to. Okay, I died before I respawn. I'm gonna you know up, I'm gonna switch to these weapons here or switch to this class or what. It, it was very very simple to do. Okay, uh, and yeah, and switch your upgrades on your vehicles. Mm-hmm. Like okay, you know instead of uh, having a, wa- a broader radar, I'm going to have a smoke screen whenever I get into this type of tank. Okay, that kind of thing. So oh, yeah, I you could, you could customize, customize all, all that stuff too. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cool. Well, uh, is there anything else that people need to know about Battlefield 4? Uh, not that I can think of. It, it's, it's a very huge experience. It's not quite as... Um, there's not as much mayhem, depending on the map, but usually not as much mayhem as there is in maybe a Call of Duty game. Mm-hmm. And I don't mean that as a slight to Call of Duty. It's not to me. It's not for me. But uh, uh, well, it's you know bigger maps with larger engagements with it's, more it's rock paper scissors yeah. kind of stuff than just like, shoot 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 shoot, a- shoot 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 exactly. Shoot. And uh, yeah, there would be you know uh, depending on how I was kitted out, uh-huh. I would say okay, I can't do anything to this guy right now. He's in this he's in this tank. I have nothing to harm him with uh, anywhere You're near me. You're too logical about this game. That's when you run up and start knifing the tank. Okay, yeah, never sure. Never give up. Yeah. Never surrender. <laughs> yeah, uh, local Steve says never surrender. That's right. Knife the tank. Um, but yeah, it's you know you would come up with something and you'd, okay, I can't I can't do anything to this. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm gonna pull back and this is the tactic I'm going to take. You know, uh-huh. it's like I'm going to I've got the surface to air missile, so I'm gonna focus on keeping all of these all of these helicopters and everything away from. Uh, the tanks of my uh, of my uh, my team. Okay, you know stuff like that. So, okay. uh, so well, I mean, it, what, you, what you're basically describing is one of the things that I think that everybody has always gravitated more towards Battlefield Four, which is there is more to do than just shooting a dude in the face with a machine it's gun. Very versatile. Yeah, yeah. because I got to tell you, I still really suck at shooting dudes in the face with a machine gun. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would be playing on the Xbox. I would be towards the top. Yep. Of the tier and the conquest modes, mm-hmm. uh, from capping flags and doing assists and fixing tanks right. and, and stuff like that. But my KD ratio would yeah. still be like one and twelve <laughs> or something. <laughs> but I would I would rank really high because I get a lot of points because there are other ways to succeed. Right, which is I I fully admit it's kind of a bitch way to play, <laughs> <laughs> but but that's what I'm good at. <laughs> well, you know, not everybody's good at shooting other people in the face. God only knows that I'm not. Well, uh, what do you what do you give it? Well, I can only rate the multiplayer, really. Okay. Um, I didn't really... You know, I'll I tell played, you what. I you played what? three missions on the single player. You know what we're going to do here? I'm going to let you rate the multiplayer. I'm not going to because I didn't play that much of it. Uh, okay. I played the single player, so I'm going to rate the single player. And I already did. I get a single player two out of five. Okay. But I almost feel like in, uh, in a case like this, 
that with some of these types of games that focus so heavily on multiplayer, there's going to be a lot of people who just don't give a shit. So I'm not going to knock off the rating sure. for single player. I sure. don't even know how I'm going to rate this one when I put it up on the website, but whatever. Yeah. What well, do you give multiplayer? For the multiplayer, it was a broad, robust experience. It was exciting. It was addictive. I'm going to give it five stars. Really? Yeah. Perfecto. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to bust it down to, what, maybe four overall. People can Three and a half. Review. Eh. I'm not, I don't want to. I don't want to count the four-hour fucking <laughs> dump yeah. single campaign campaign against six billion hours of online <laughs> entertainment. Right, like this tiny little yeah. like the mole on Scarlett Johansson's ankle, where you're like, oh, she's hideous. <laughs> she's a freak. She's a freak. Get her out of here. We gotta get off this bridge. It's too dangerous. We are not gonna leave you behind. No one gets left behind. <laughs> Let this storm carry us home.